Right, we're on. I used to play in the Tartan Tour and there was an older pro who played in the Tour, so I will no longer mention his name now that I've classed him as old. But he gave me what he classed as a secret tip. Because golf tuition or golf instruction has changed over the years because the swings become more dynamic, um, a dress position kind of changed as well. Well, it has changed into what we class as a more athletic position, but he gave me a little secret tip to ensure that we never got too far into that process because this new postural position, if you like, it, it can change different parts of your golf swing that are not really necessary. It can hold you back as well. So he told me from an old school point of view as to why this new modern instruction is slightly wrong. It's not wrong unless you understand it correctly. Let's try and get our head around that one then, shall we? <laughs> So before we start this, I'm just going to hit a couple of balls to give you guys time to hit that subscribe button. I'll just hit one more. You can see the button just in the bottom corner there. Just hit that just now while I'm hitting this shot. Brilliant, thanks. You're done. Right, let's move on. So this modern element of the teaching process, if you like, is very much to do with posture. Now, a lot of athletic golfers out there now in all sorts of funky postures. And it's been more advised nowadays, or you see it more on tour, that guys have got the weight more on the balls of their feet. So if you look back at swings of old, it looks like the weight's more on the heels, but nowadays it looks like the weight or the centre of the body is more over the balls of the feet. So weight distribution works in two ways. So you've either got more weight on your left side or your right side, or forward towards your toes or back towards your heels. Now most of the time, I mean, when I coach, I like to see iron players or when the ball's on the ground, a little bit more weight favoring the left side to get the ball turf strike. But certainly with very few of us talk about whether it should be in the heels or the balls of the feet. Now more modern teaching tell you to put the weight on the balls of your feet. So if I'm in goals, football, soccer, and I'm going to save a penalty, I would have the weight more on the balls of my feet ready to react to where the ball's going to go. Now that's pushing me forward towards the player or the penalty taker, and in golf that's going to move me forward towards the golf ball. So compensations have to be made to ensure that doesn't happen. So I can take my address position. If I go side on to the camera here, if I take an address position there, now that looks very athletic, there's a little S shape in the lower back, so S posture as opposed to C posture, that's good, the weight's more on the balls of my feet, and I look as though I'm in an athletic position, a modern day athletic golfing position. What does that even mean, a modern day athletic golfing position? That's all very well if I'm going to try and run 100 metres, but I'm not that athletic. So that position there, there we go. Weights in the balls of the feet, S posture. S posture I agree with, shoulder blades back, okay, good. Now the weight's more in the balls of my feet, I'm ready to react to this golf ball. This golf ball that's stationary, I'm going to react to it. Now I'm not reacting to a moving target, whereas I'd need to be in that position, but the ball's just sitting there stationary. Now if I take my position here, because the weight's in the balls of my feet, when I swing, I'm heading out towards the golf ball, so some form of compensation has to be made during the swing, basically to keep me upright, to stop me falling over. So that could be early extension. So I'm too far over, so I have to stand up. There's, there's other things that can happen, but certainly being too far on the balls of the feet is going to encourage the body, or the body has to react to that to stay upright. So what am I saying here? This secret tip that the anonymous golf professional told me was to ensure the weight favours the heels for the whole golf swing. Now whether that's left heel, right heel, that's irrelevant for now for what we're talking about, but ensuring the weight's more towards the heels. Now I'm not saying that you stand with the weight on your heels so the toes are off the ground. I'm, in, I'm saying here that the weight should favour the heel for the most of the, the motion of the golf swing. Now that's going to reduce early extension because if my weight's further back, I can throw the club out so the club's going out towards the golf ball instead of me standing up trying to get close to it. 
Lots of good things happen from here. Much more rotation and easier to transfer weight through towards target as you play the shot. Now there has to be a counterbalance for this as well. So I can take my address position with my weight all on my heels. Now that's not great, obviously. So I have to counterbalance this. So I would take my address position. I move my hips backwards as I tilt my body forwards to balance out. So hips go back and body goes forward. So there's ball, good. Hips go back and body comes forward. Hips go back as body comes forward. Hips back, body forward. Now the weight's a little bit more on the heels, so it's certainly on the heel side of center. Excellent there. As I take the club back, I'm much more in control. It allows me to come through as I come through the body turns. The club gets thrown out towards the golf ball because I'm leaning back. I've moved the center of the swing slightly further back. Now we're talking inches compared to being on the balls of the feet, but certainly it's, I've got throw action of the golf club towards the ball now because my weight is favoring the heels of my swing from postural position or address position. So hips go back, body goes forward. Take my dress position, allow my hips to sink back and then my body to come forward. Now I'm down to the golf ball. I'm good there and I can maintain that on the way through. When I get the weight onto the left heel on the way through, it's much more rotational. So here we go, standing pretty straight, hips back, body forward, there we go. I'm good, I can play my shot from there. Rotational aspect to it and there was no early extension. All very good, I know what you're thinking, but how do I ensure that I don't have the weight too far on the balls of my feet? Well, here's another secret tip for you, and this is how this professional, dying to say his name, this is how he told me to check whether your weight's too far on the balls of your feet, because mine was at the time. Take your address position. I'm going to put my weight too far on the balls of my feet just for this demonstration. So he said, here's the secret, Steve. You take your address position. So I took my address position, as instructed. And he said to me now, he says, if you can lift your heels off the ground without altering your spine angle, spine angle, if I can lift the heels an inch or so off the ground without altering my spine angle, then my weight's too far forward. So I was there, I thought I was in a really good athletic position, I thought I looked great, I did look great, and I could lift my heels pretty easily without altering my spine angle. So there was too much weight in the balls of my feet. So therefore my body was having to adjust to stay upright and to ensure path and strike and all that carry on was achievable. Then he said, Take your, put your club a little bit higher up in front of you, stand a little bit taller. Put your hips back, body forward. And feel that as you go down, how it counterbalances each other out. Good. Now he said to me, can I now lift my heels without altering my back? It's like, well, no, I can't because my centers move back slightly. He says, that's fine. You're good. Hit the golf ball. And I did. And it was all good. <laughs> and that is my secret tip from the Secret Golf Pro. But right? isn't it amazing that just feeling as though you're in that athletic position and the position you see guys in on television and they look as they're in that position, the weights and the balls of their feet, but they've balanced it out. They've moved their hips to go back and their body to come forward and sunk down into the shot. So they hold the S posture, they maintain that, yet the weight's favoring slightly onto the heels to allow the rotation and the body and weight to transfer through towards the target during the action of the golf swing. I'm just thinking, should I tell you his name? Nah. Before we go, thanks very much for watching. If you've subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. If you've not, just hit the little button. Thank you very much. Um, the bell notification as well, that will give you instant notifications of all my videos. And please hit the thumbs up button. That shares it around YouTube and that makes life a lot easier for me. Thank you.